there are many examples of polka yoke and mistake proofing that help us avoid defects. Polka yoke is found in manufacturing, service, and information systems. They can also be found in everyday life. In this module, we will look at some examples of polka yoke that you may not have noticed before. Keep in mind that any form of error proofing should be inexpensive, if not free, and as simple as possible. Also, recall that there are different types of inspection. We have judgment inspection, informative inspection, and source inspection. In most cases, and if possible, you, you want to shoot for source inspection. But, if source inspection is not a possibility, or you cannot think of a way to move your polka yoke to the source, then begin with informative inspection methods. We will look at examples of polka yoke for source inspections. Remember that any form of polka yoke is going to be specific to your process, so involve people from the front lines, or the gemba as we say in lean, and allow them to come up with innovative solutions. These examples may help spark ideas or generate thoughts, but may not work in your situation. As a reminder, polka yokes that occur at the source is a device or method that prevents an error during the process. There are two ways for this to occur, control or warning. Let's look at an everyday example. You may not realize it, but a microwave is a great example of a polka yoke at the source. The microwave will not turn on unless the door is completely closed and the start button is pushed. It could be very dangerous if a start button was pushed and the door was still open. This type of polka yoke is known as a control polka yoke, located at the source. Another example of a polka yoke at the source is spell check. Spell check works by linking to a dictionary of words, definitions, and their proper usage. When you spell a word incorrectly, for example in Google Docs, the word is highlighted. This is a warning polka yoke at the source. The user can then go back and choose to correct the word or not. You can also set your spell check to automatically change if you want it to. This prevents the document from being turned in with a misspelling and transforming your error into a defect. With these examples in mind, let's look at one example of our three different methods, the contact method, fixed value method, and the motion step method, which are all used as pokey yokes. We will see you in the next lecture.